or a rebranded kind of this oh, fucking shit. <sighs> Welcome back to my garage. Tonight I'm going to show you how I've converted my Oku PWK carb uh, from petrol to alcohol. So uh, I'll just bring you in closer and I'll tell you or show you what I did, what I've done. And uh, we'll test it after I've shown my modifications and we'll see how much of an improvement uh, it made, if it made any improvement at all. I've done uh, two things here. The first thing I did was I drilled out the needle valve seat, float needle valve seat, from I think maybe two and a half millimeters to now 3.2 millimeters. So that's the first mod. The second thing I did was I drilled out the tiny holes here from one millimeter holes to also 3.2 millimeter holes and it's extremely important when you drill out the valve seat that you don't go any bigger that, that you don't use a bigger uh, drill bit than a 3.2 millimeter drill bit because as you can see now with the float needle in there if I had gone any larger this um, tiny spring would hit the casting before the needle would uh, or the rubber tip would shut off the fuel supply. So 3.2 millimeter drill. That's the maximum size you can use. The two small one millimeter holes that used to be where I've now drilled a 3.2 millimeter hole. They were uh, not in center of this hole but higher up in the casting, and this meant that when the float was opening, they weren't. Uh, they were still shrouded by the needle. So basically, mm, almost all the fuel flow had to escape between the bore and the needle. So uh, I'll mount it on my bike, and we'll see how it uh, performs, or how much better it performs. Last time it was, um, it flowed. Uh, half a liter in uh, two point uh, or two minutes and 36 seconds and we'll see how it's now how it performs now I did try to use this pump <coughs> to see if the higher fuel pressure could uh, give me enough flow for um, alcohol but um, there's uh, too much pressure and the f uh, float valve didn't uh, keep shut so it was overflowing all the time now I could fix this with uh, a bleed or a return line but I think um, or I hope that I can uh, get sufficient flow without the pump. So to keep it simple. Let's see how long it takes now to fill uh, my measuring cup to half a liter. One minute and 53 seconds. So uh, that's an improvement of uh, 40 seconds, that's pretty good. So the modifications I did to the float valve, uh, basically put my numbers up to where they were without the float valve in the system. So just a fuel line and not the carb. So uh, uh, now I'm going to try with this setup just a makeshift fuel tank and a larger inner diameter hose and see if uh, uh, this uh, improved flow from that system can further improve the flow through the float valve or if uh, the restriction in the float valve is just uh, is it is so restrictive that I can't get it much better <laughs> okay let's see I'll time it and see how it turns out I'm at 1 minute and 16 seconds for half a liter and uh, that, I think that's sufficient for uh, methanol and nitromethane. I think maybe 3.2 millimeters was actually a little bit too much on the float needle, uh, float needle well, because 
if I leave it sitting for a little while, I can see that it overflows a little bit. So the valve isn't uh, shutting off completely. Uh, this might be solved by uh, adjusting the float level a little bit. I'll try that. Otherwise, I may have kind of ruined my carb. But it will work when running. But I can't leave it sitting without uh, shutting off the fuel valve. Doesn't matter. Shiming in again. Uh, adjusting the float valve solved the problem. So 3.2 millimeters, absolute maximum, but it works. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm uh, pretty much ready for testing now. So uh, as soon as I have time, there will be a video with uh, testing of methanol and nitromethane and E85. Okay, see you next time.